crazy clown maze again, and we are throwing down on the lobby hot cave action. Let's get this bad boy done. <sighs> People, this is Stuart Smith from Stuart Designs. We're at the Crazy Clown Maze. If you are new to the channel, I paint monsters for a living and create all sorts of nasty things for the Halloween industry, laser tag, amusement parks, etc. And we are here throwing down on the second video of the lobby horror cave area. So we're going to be putting in a bunch of fiberglass today, foam, Durabon 90. Um, and uh, hopper gunning with Portland cement and paint and sand. So come on board, appreciate you being here, subscribe, and uh, hey, let's get this bad boy going, enjoy the transitions. We'll see you on the next video. All right, we're gonna get some Durabon going. So I'm grabbing some of the oops paint that uh, my friend has in the back. He has some dude come along and drop off paint all the time. So it's a lot of it's Sherwin Williams, good stuff, but it's old and it's perfect for what we want to do. Uh, the paint acts as an adhesion, adhesive, um, almost like glue uh, when we're doing some stuff. When we're, right? so this isn't even paint. So I got hot water here, about half a bucket. And then we'll dump in the paint. Then, Durabon, we're gonna mix this up into a kind of a thick cheese soup. So when we use the insulation, it will, uh, it will uh, soak through the fibers real nice. Now this is 90 minute Durabon. You have about 60 minutes working time. You want to make sure that you're wearing gloves because this stuff uh, says joint compound on the um, package, but it's really more plaster. And she's she's gonna cook you if you're not careful. And uh, the other thing too is don't even think about sanding this stuff. I mean, when she dries, rock hard. Uh, we we uh, try to sand a particular area when we use it in our house and uh <laughs> that's an experience i don't ever want to have to repeat so we're adding more here a lot of times i like to use a color versus just white so you can see better what i'm doing but i just grabbed a gallon and there you go now because it's gonna be kind of thin it may give me longer than 60 minutes but uh you wanna mix it in there real good. And I'm gonna add a little bit more. Uh, it gives you a nice five gallon bucket to work with. Another thing too is you can add Elmer's wood glue into it, Elmer's white glue, any water-based glue can be added in to help with, the, with it sticking to the wall. I think that's going to be good. So now we are ready for insulation. Let's get her going. All right. Let me get going with this. Let me soak this down real good. You can take your hands and move it through the uh, stuff so it, it, it's all through the fibers. Beautiful thing about this stuff is you can sculpt it. And you got quite a while to do it. So if you want to make all sorts of things like little pock holes and spider's nests and stuff like that. Uh, it'll work out really nice and it'll and uh, You have all the time in the world to do it. Just remember 60 minutes. It's 90 minute stuff 
because I mixed it thin, I might have more time. But you'll notice when she starts setting up, because she starts to kick out some heat. sit there and work it through the fibers.
got a lot done throwing down tomorrow thanks for coming and watching and hey there's a playlist in the description below of all different types of videos related to this and some other things and if you'd like to support the channel there is a paypal link in the description below as well really appreciate you guys watching thanks if you subscribed if you are a subscriber thank you so much for being here and uh, hey we'll see you on the next video you all take care